internet y su euforia son resultados. And so this this excitement that we have now should not overshadow the fact that we've n we don't have control over the content. All we do is consume and read those things that others believe that we should listen to. In that sense, for indigenous languages, we're seeing the dismantling of our traditional circles by these means. And that is something that we can overcome. And so the ability to take part in this whole new process is wonderful. Efectivamente, hay una efervescencia de artistas y creadores de contenidos de origen. There are a lot of content creators that are of indigenous heritage. And although it might seem odd, finally, after hundreds of years, we've earned the right to show people that it's not difficult to learn our indigenous languages, that it can be done. They've allowed us to speak up, to use the tools that are available to us on internet to be able to create our own content. A lot of young artists are now trying to see how they can express themselves in digital media. Sometimes there are people that have been very successful in this effort and they've progressed a lot, but there are others who are more fragile, but at least they're there, they're trying. And so we have to take advantage of the fact that they're looking into this possibility so that we can train people and re make people realize that this is available to them. Another one of the points that I wanted to mention with regard to the content that is being created with regard to the revitalization of indigenous languages on internet is that they're very original. Original in the sense that it all depends on what we think that we can say about a certain topic. It's not a matter of doing something that's already been done. Rather, to say, this is what I think about this certain topic, topic, which is something that we can do very well, because this is a topic that, I mean, the indigenous viewpoint is a topic that has often not been made very known. We have to, nonetheless, research whatever we do and make sure that we give different opinions and understand that we have to encompass the social, cultural, and economic facets as well, and make sure that all of these efforts are sustainable and that can be, that can continue in the long term. Based on my experience, I would like to say that it's important that we also have an aesthetic definition so that we have social discourses that can help us to transform, to help us to add to the conversation, to create a sense of empathy as well. Los artistas o los jóvenes. Artists or young adults, indigenous young people who are willing to work with these social media are visual narrators, visual storytellers who have a wealth of information available to them so that we can understand the best way to tell our stories. I think it would be good though for us to continue to learn and to be trained as to what else we can do so we can think about the many things that we can do to reach our audiences. We shouldn't just focus on one way of doing things. If we get trained, we'll find new tools and new ways to be as expressive as possible in a transparent manner, to be able to transfer our knowledge, and also at the same time, be careful of copyrights of our indigenous peoples and the rights that they, the property rights that they have, and understand how we can use this in the digital world of graphic content.